Hey guys, this is Tulus Fever 9 here, and in today's video, I'm showing you guys the best build in Elden Ring. This curved sword build is insane. It has the agility, the speed, and the damage to kill anything. Even if the enemy is immune to bleed like the Elden Beast, this build will shred it like it's nothing. Let's get right into the build. We are level 150 with 40 vigor, 16 mind, 34 endurance, 10 strength, 14 dexterity. It says 19 because the talisman is increasing it. 10 Intelligence, 25 Faith, and 80 Arcane. We are using two Scavengers Curved Swords with Seppuku set to Occult Affinity, so the weapons scale really well with Arcane. If you are not in New Game Plus yet and you can't get a second Scavengers Curved Sword, then use the Bandage Curved Sword with Seppuku and the Blood Affinity. Other than that, we are using the Finger Seal to cast our incantations. Going into armor, we have the White Mask. It increases our attack power by 10% for 20 seconds after blood loss has been inflicted upon an enemy or oneself. The Raptor's Black Feathers it increases our jump attack damage by 10%. And the rest of the armor is for poise. It can be any armor. We just want to get at least 51 poise or above so we don't get interrupted as much when we get hit. For talismans, we have the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia. It raises our attack power with successive attacks by 6%, then 8%, then 13 The Lord's Blood Exaltation raises our attack power by 20% when blood loss occurs. The Claw Talisman increases our jump attack damage by 15%. And Melissa's Prosthetics, this boosts our dexterity by 5, that's why we have 19. And it raises our attack power with successive attacks by 4%, then 6%, then 11%. You can use the Mimic tier, but we really don't need the help. We are already too overpowered. Now for the Flask, we have the Thorny Crack tier. It raises our attack power with consecutive hits by 9%, then 13%, then 20%. And the second tier can be whatever you like. I like to have the Dexterity Not Crystal tier to boost my Dexterity by 10, so we do a little more damage. And for incantations, we are using the Golden Vow. It increases our attack damage by 15% and increases all damage negation by 10%. We are also using the Flame Grant Me Strength that increases our physical damage by 20%, our fire damage by 20%, but we aren't using fire, and our stamina recovery speed by 11%. To buff up before a boss, we are going to use Golden Vow and Flame Grant Me Strength. Then drink our flask. Then switch back to our curved sword on our left hand and use two hands on the left sword by holding Y and pressing L1 and pressing L2 to use seppuku. Then switch back to a normal stance with both swords by holding Y and pressing R1 and then use seppuku by pressing L2. And now both swords have seppuku and we are ready to destroy anything in our path. We are going to be using jumping L1 attacks and running L1 attacks for smaller enemies. The rest of the video is showing how broken the build is. Other than that, check out my other videos, you might find something helpful. And feel free to support me by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. Thank you.
Thank you for making it to the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed.